Now, the American political story playing out on the campaign trail. And the 2016 presidential election will certainly go down in history. Yeah, no doubt, of course. We know Cleveland is a significant chapter of that important story. Mike Birkbank joining us now. And Mike, the RNC may be long gone, but the event will continue to live on in Cleveland for generations to come. Yeah, it sure will, Chris. Today, we got our first look at some of the artifacts collected during the Republican National Convention. Everything from credentials like this to confetti. It's a big year for Cleveland. 2016 in Cleveland, much like 1936 and 1924. The two other times Republicans held their convention in the CLE. Plenty of fanfare and political paraphernalia. I had to start to own it. Margaret Roulette was in charge of gathering RNC gear for the Cleveland History Center. That was a really interesting collecting mission. Interns rounded up as much as they could carry back to the center. But unlike years 36 and 24, some of the swag of today represents the power of the Internet. Capture how social media has impacted um, this election. A delegate from Texas who used to live in Bay Village dropped off some of the confetti and balloons that fell from the ceiling of the queue when Donald Trump formally accepted the nomination for president. He knew we existed here at the History Center and he wanted this stuff to be a part of history. Buttons are a political staple and these will join the thousands already at the Cleveland History Center which is home to the largest political button collection in the country. And they're just visually r really stimulating. I mean, there's a lot of red, white, and blue, but you can also see on this one for John Kasich, um, it's red and gray for Ohio State. At the end of the day, this collection is about preserving Cleveland's history while also improving your political experience. Make it a little bit more relevant for everyone. Now, in addition to the Cleveland History Center, the Smithsonian in Washington, D.C. sent two people to Cleveland during the RNC to collect artifacts for its museum. The pair reportedly sent back 100 pounds of political items from both inside and outside the queue. In the studio, Mike Brickbank, News Channel 5.